Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be working with an algebraic expression. We have x squared minus 6x minus 2 equals 0, and we're supposed to evaluate x minus 2 over x. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. So for the first method, I'm going to go ahead and solve this quadratic equation. Easy to solve, it's not factorable, but you can use the quadratic formula. And if you do, you're going to get x equals 3 plus minus root 11. Now, we're going to go ahead and plug it in, but there are two solutions. 3 plus root 11 and 3 minus root 11. Let's use the first one. So we're supposed to evaluate x minus 2 over x, replace x with 3 plus root 11. You can rationalize the denominator, but let's go ahead and make a common denominator. Put a 1 underneath, multiply 3 plus root 11 by 3 plus root 11, which gives you 3 plus root 11 squared minus 2 divided by the common denominator. So that, that is the value we're trying to evaluate. So let's go ahead and simplify this. If you square the sum, you get 9 plus 11 plus 6 root 11 minus 2 divided by 3 plus root 11. 9 plus 11 is 20. 20 minus 2 is 18. So the numerator becomes 18 plus 6 root 11 divided by 3 plus root 11. Hopefully you see what I see here. And we can factor out a 6 in the numerator. And we have 3 plus root 11 inside the parentheses. And guess what? It's what's at the bottom. So 3 plus root 11 obviously does not equal 0, right? Because three, uh, root 11 does not equal negative 3. So these two terms cancel out, leaving us with 6, which is the value of x minus 2 over x. Remember, we started off with x equals 3 plus root 11. Now we're going to go ahead and use the other solution, 3 minus root 11. So what happens if x is 3 minus root 11? What am I going to do with this expression, right? So let's go ahead and substitute that x value into our expression and pretend you don't know the answer, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and simplify this, and just by making a common denominator again, square the 3 minus root 11 to make a common denominator, minus 2 divided by 3 minus root 11. If you expand it, you're going to get 9 plus 11 minus 6 root 11, minus 2 divided by 3 minus root 11. 9 plus 11 is 20, minus 2 is 18 again. This is 18 minus 6 root 11 divide by 3 minus root 11. And as before, we can take out a 6 and write this as 3 minus root 11 times 6 divided by 3 minus root 11. 3 minus root 11, again, does not equal 0 because root 11 does not equal 3. Oops, I was supposed to write, does not equal 0. Obviously, it's not equal to 3 either, but that's not the point. 3 minus root 11 cancel out, and we end up with 6 for the value of x minus 2 over x. And this time, we used a different x value. But notice that we got the same answer. Hmm, that's kind of interesting, right? Don't you think? So, here's what we're going to do next. Second method. So, remember the original problem was given as x squared minus 6x minus 2 equals 0. And we're supposed to find x minus 2 over x. We're supposed to evaluate it, so we will find a numerical value. You already know the answer, but just pretend you haven't seen the first method, and you're just uh, it's just a fresh start, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. The presence of 2 on both expressions, in both expressions, kind of gives me a clue. That's actually how I came up with this problem. You might be thinking, like, how do you come up with problems? So you kind of start off with a basic idea, and how can I turn this into a problem? So here's what you, you can do. Add 6x to both sides and, you know, have the x squared minus 2 on the left-hand side. And then divide everything by x. And guess what that's going to do? That's going to actually uh, do miracles because 
when you do that, you're going to get the answer right away. Notice that x squared divided by x is x minus 2 over x. x does not equal 0. We know that, right? And we get the answer right away. x minus 2 over x equals 6. And again, there is probably other ways to do it. You know, you can just isolate x squared, write it in terms of 6x plus 2, and then plug it in, so on and so forth. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.